it's Stephanie here with a video for My Favorite Things. In today's video we are continuing our Love is in the Air event at the MFT blog and YouTube channel and I'm going to be creating a project for friends or coworkers. So for my project I decided to create a little hot chocolate gift. I thought it was fun for kind of Valentine's theme since it is chocolatey um, and I thought it'd be fun to create like a little holder for the hot chocolate pouch. So that's what we're going to do for today's project. So I have a few different things. I have the new Love is in the Mail stamp set as, long as, as well as the flop card heart dynamics and then I have a couple of older products. I have the Hug in a Mug stamp set and the Hot Cocoa Cups dynamics. These are two of my favorites from MFT because there's so many great things that you can do with these sets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some color onto some white cardstock so that I can use this to die cut all my pieces. And the reason I'm doing the inking on the white and then die cutting versus just going from cardstock is that I want to add a little bit of distressed look to these pieces. So I'm going to add some water to both of these pieces when I'm done adding the color. And then I'm just going to kind of lift it off with my paper towel and that's going to give these pieces kind of a fun textured look rather than just having them be plain colored cardstock. So I just like to lay my piece in my paper towel, add the water on top, and then I just fold the paper towel over to lift off that extra water. And then you can see the great texture that this adds just by adding a touch of water and then removing a little bit of it. So I really love using distress inks for that reason. They react so well with water and it's just a great way to make it a little bit more textured looking. Now I have all the pieces that I want to die cut. So I have two of the cups here and then I have the heart from this set as well as the flop card heart. Um, I'm just going to use the heart in this one to create a larger heart. And I'm just going to run these through my die cut machine and also cut out a few um, pieces for the coffee or the hot chocolate in the top of the cup and I just use some brown ink to create those. So now that I have all the pieces die cut, I can go ahead and pick a piece of striped pattern paper that I want to use on the background of the little pouch that we're going to create. So I just have this striped turquoise piece and I'm creating a little holder here with craft cardstock. It's cut to four and a quarter by 11 inches long and I just went ahead and scored this at five and three quarters and then a little inch piece at the top there. And this is just going to allow me to fold this in half but have that little extra piece at the top there that I can fold over top to close this. So you can see now the little hot chocolate pouch fits perfectly inside of there. And you would just wanna create a pocket that would fit whatever it is that you're using to put inside. So if you're putting something different or a different size, just kind of put it against the cardstock, figure out the sizing that you need and then you can cut and score accordingly. So I cut my piece of straight pattern paper slightly smaller than the front area of the little pocket that we're creating for the hot chocolate and I'm just adhering it directly onto this piece here with my tape runner and then I'm going to start to assemble the rest of the card. So I have all the pieces die cut and colored and I can go ahead and add them. So I'm going to use the big red heart kind of as a background to the coffee cup and I decided once I started going here that I only wanted to use one coffee cup instead of both. So now I just have an extra one I can use on another project but I'm not going to use it on this. So I did my stamping first. I stamped the sending you a cup of cheer sentiment from the hug in a mug stamp set and I just stamped that with black ink directly on the stripe pattern paper. And now I'm using my tape runner to adhere the pieces directly onto the front of this here. So I added the heart first and then I used some foam adhesive to add the cup just for a little bit of extra dimension. And I'm making sure to add a little bit of foam adhesive to the handle of the cup as well to make sure that that's adhered down. And then I'm just going to add this to the front directly over the heart area there. Now I want to dress up the cup a tiny bit so I have the little red heart that we die cut so I'm adding that to the center of the mug and then I also have the little piece that we're going to add to the top of the mug which makes it look like there's actually hot chocolate in it. So I love all the little details that this die set has it just makes it look so realistic and fun. Now once I have those pieces on and everything's good I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my sentiment. So I have this sentiment that says handmade hugs. This is from the new Love is in the Mail stamp set and I love the sentiment. I just want to put it on everything. And I just thought it went really well. I liked the sentiment to say sending you a cup of cheer and handmade hugs. But once again I didn't have a stamp that said and so I just decided to use my black pen and just write that in. And then I'm just going to finish off the mug with a few pieces of steam. So I cut these out of white cardstock. This is also from the um, Hot Cocoa Cups Dynamics die set. And I'm just adhering these on with liquid glue just because they're super tiny and this is just the easiest way to kind of get adhesive completely on them and make sure that they're adhered down onto the card. And then once I have that done, I have this fun little pouch all created and I can put my hot chocolate inside. So I'm adding some adhesive to the top area of this on both the flap and then just the top area. And I'm just sticking my little hot chocolate pouch directly on there, folding over the flap, and then that completely adheres it shut. And you have this fun little treat on the inside of this little pouch that we made. 
And then to finish this project off, I decided to add a couple more little elements. So I did staple the top area, and then I also added some clear sequins scattered around the sentiment and the focal um, images that we have there. And then that is going to complete today's project. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please feel free to check out a couple of other videos that we've created on the screen here. And I will see you tomorrow for more Love is in the Air.